you know, the Pioneer 2 is an evolutionary process of other designs throughout the last 25 years. And uh, I always wanted for my personal self an aircraft that is quick and easy to build and once you've built it, it's light, maneuverable on the ground, easy to put together because the parts aren't heavy, uh, very forgiving in the air, uh, have you know, basically stall proof characteristics and still have good performance. And I think learning from my Pioneer 1, I learned what not to do and then I got this uh, idea just evolved into uh, this, this machine here. And it is, it's, it's very, uh, it's, it's done all the things I've wanted it to do. It's quick and easy to build. Uh, the first builders that tried building it, uh, they did, uh, oh, it took them about uh, a year to a year and a half to complete it. Then they heard the performance was you know, 35 to 1 glide ratio. And the one builder uh, in Oregon, he says, uh, he says, well, the designer claims 35 to 1. He says, but if it gets 31, I'll be happy. So that was the day of his first test flight. And a few days later, uh, he made a few more flights. And uh, the other fellows in the club had high-performance sailplanes. And they started climbing with him in thermals and running with him. And he said, you've got about a 37 to 1 glider if not 38 to 1. I've heard so many people say that they're very impressed with the thermaling abilities of this ship. They can outclimb almost anything in a thermal and stay up on days when no one else can stay up because it is light and can turn very tight circles as a low sink rate. But at the same time, because of its clean design, it can fly uh, very well at very high speeds. In fact, some of the fellows with fiberglass ships, the 15 meter racing ships, they could fly at 100 knots and this ship would stay right alongside of it. So it, it does very impressive performance despite its uh, lightness and simplicity. A lot of the uh, credit goes to the lack of a tail. That horizontal tail back there creates a lot more drag than you think it does. So in, in our case we don't have the uh, the drag uh, of the horizontal tail itself or the intersection drag or carry that extra weight along. So, And, and this is a, an aircraft that has a 46-foot wingspan and anything comparable to that is almost 100 pounds heavier. There, quite a few of, the, the, uh, of this model have been built and they're all been in a 300 to 315 pound range empty weight. And the, you take a Schweitzer 126, which has only got a 40 foot span, six foot smaller, and it's got a 450 pound empty weight. So it's, uh, the simplicity is there. And it, uh, it does a lot for performance, for your handling, ease, and just all around uh, sport flying. It's, it's a great machine. This is a Pioneer 2 fuselage, which is the way it's uh, provided for the home builder as a kit, which in includes several parts. Uh, you have the top deck is removable here, and there's a, a bucket seat on the inside and an instrument panel, which comes off. Uh, the beauty of all this, you can work on any part of the whole fuselage, and Everything's open for you to get at. Everything's accessible. Now also, uh, what I don't have in here right now, now this is the fiberglass fuselage kit. But there's also a, uh, a metal parts kit, which includes the, a steel frame, which includes the uh, uh, carry-through structure for the wing attach, the landing gear assembly, and all the control mechanisms fastened to the frame as well. Right, once the builder you know, acquires the uh, 
fiberglass kit and the uh, metal parts kit, all he does mainly is just bolt things together. There's uh, drill a few holes and uh, four holes and you mount the whole frame in the fuselage. Then the controls which are mounted right off of that. The uh, uh, control systems run forward to a uh, control stick mechanism which is all made up for you. Just have to bolt it together. The uh, rudder pedals just, or you just drill a hole and, and mount the brackets here and instrument pan, or put your uh, rudder pedals in and run the cables back. The uh, instrument panel, you cut, cut holes out in the panel and then mount your instruments right in there. Then you fasten the whole assembly right onto the fuselage. Uh, this block here is to mount the uh, handle for the air, air uh, spoiler system. And there's just a little uh, ring-like thing with two screws fastened on there, so that's simple. We try to keep things as simple as possible with a few parts as possible.